the memorial is breathtaking. In my mind, the memorial represents freedom for the world. To this day, all of the Pacific is free, all of Europe is free, and thank God America is free. Honor Flight provides, at no cost to the veteran, the opportunity to see the memorial that the American people have built on our National Mall. And I think that there's probably no better organization out there today that can provide something to somebody for nothing. If anyone wants to see the importance of honor flight, look into the veterans' eyes and how they tear up when they are brought here. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. When they walk into that memorial and they see that their friends will never be forgotten, that the, the sacrifice that they paid will always be cherished, always revered, always honored by this nation. They're taken back by that. Thank you. Welcome to your memorial. Thank you. Thank you. For the World War II veterans, this is their last hurrah. They don't have reunions anymore. Most of their comrades in arms have all passed away. Quite often, they are the sole survivors of that tank crew or that ship or that air crew bringing them into their memorial. They come there representing all of their friends. Just have to remember where so many comrades are laying out there yet. And just one of these things, you know, before I die, I wanted to see it. Now I go home and if I croak, so what? I did it. I'm just sorry my wife couldn't be here. She died about six months ago. It's the best program I've ever been associated with. You know, we're all in the same fraternity. If it hadn't been for these guys, I don't know where we'd be today or what language we'd speak. I say about the terrorist, Al-Qaeda, if it weren't for these guys, we wouldn't have to worry about terrorists today. We'd already be occupied. We'd already be a different country. So we owe them a lot. There are families that we will call up and say, we have a seat available for your dad, only to be told that dad did not survive the winter. We're racing against a clock. In another five to seven years, it'll be a moot point. They will be gone. We're working as fast as we can, but we need so much support from so many people uh, to make these dreams a reality. This is probably the last chapter in their lives. And for some, it's literally the last paragraph of their lives. What a way to end their stories. This has been one of the really great days of my life. I'm sure glad I was able to live long enough to see it.